Good game. Resolves. How did we win that game? What's up, Jamers? It's the one game, and today we are playing Red Deck Wins. Mono Red. We're going to be destroying our opponent's faces and making them scoop with cards in their hand by reducing their life points to zero or a lot of negative zero. How will we do that? We are going to play Rabbit Battery and Phoenix Chick and Kumano Faces Kakazan as our one drops. Play with Fire. We only have one in the deck because we're choosing to play a couple cards that deal with Shieldred like Bloody Betrayal and Rending Flame deals five damage at instant speed. And if it's a spirit, it deals two damage to their controller. Bloody Betrayal s takes their uh, creature, untaps it, it gains haste, and you get to attack them with it and make a blood token so you can filter out your draws if you happen to be flooding out. We have Shivan Devastator as a flyer, Thundering Raiju, Reckless Storm Seeker, Squee Dubious Monarch, Radis Firebrand, Bloodthirsty Adversary to flashback our Play With Fire or Lightning Strike, Rending Flame or Bloody Betrayal, and we also have one copy of Ogre Head Helm, which is an equipment as a 2-2 creature, but when it when itself or equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, you can sacrifice it if you do, discard your hand, then draw three. So it's a way to accrue card advantage when you don't have a hand anymore, and that's going to happen a lot when we're playing Mono Red. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this deck list. Um, the deck list, as always, will be in the description, of the description of the video. Like the video if you want to see this reach more people. And if you're new here, click the subscribe button to see more standard best of one content like this. Let's get into the matches, and it all starts right now. Chick. Hopefully they have Consider or something so they take a life. I think I'm just attacking with this and going Firebrand this turn. Do they have like March or something? They probably have Consider. Once Meat Hook is gone, what deck do you have money on? Uh, I still like I still like Esper Midrange. Even with Meat Hook on. But I think it does open the door for more decks like what I'm playing right now, which is one of the reasons why I'm playing this to show off what it can do. Alright. We'll do Chick now to play around Make Disappear. Doesn't seem like they have it. I could have played Bloodthirsty Adversary there to get two more damage in. I don't know if that would matter or not, but I kind of want to save it for flashing back Lightning Strike or Rending Flame. Runic Shot. Destroy a tapped creature. Okay. Am I hasting adversary? Probably not, honestly. Probably just gonna wait for an untap land to cast this, and we can also cast this just in case they play something. There's our land, but we probably get countered here. I, I mean, I, I mean, unless they actually have Wandering Emperor here. If they have Wandering Emperor, it's like really good for us. Since they probably won't counter this if they have Wandering Emperor. We're not attacking with this because we don't want it to get Embered.
I mean, hopefully they play a spirit. They're not going to, though. Wow, then what if they have another emperor? If they have another... No, never mind. If they had another emperor, I think they would actually... Minus this emperor. A Ganjo. That's a card. We have 21 lands in the deck, and we have the same amount of lands in play as our control player does. What is the opponent going to do? Probably minus the Emperor. Uh, opponent? Urza assembles the Titans. Okay. You may activate the low abilities twice this turn rather than only once. Oh, they're gonna make they're gonna make two two twos. It seems like a waste of five mana. Oh wow, they're choosing to put a one one counter on it first. So I'm gonna kill this now. That seems like a five mana sorcery just wasted. All right, my turn. Unfortunately, this doesn't have haste. They probably have considered, but don't want to take a life. Now they probably kill me. That's a land. Would not be surprised if they had something huge here, like a hole breaker. Another emperor, that makes sense. I would like to not draw land. Oh, wow. All right, please cast Emperor. I got to get him in a situation where they either tap out. Okay, that's fine. Upkeep so they can't draw a counter spell here. Disruption protocol. So we're playing an artifact deck?
Dang it, they gained a life. That's important. Please don't have a counter spell. Okay. That helps. This game is really close. I need to stop drawing lands. This is eight lands in a mono red deck. All right, opponent, what you got? Karn Living Legacy. Okay. Make a 2-2. Two -two. No blocks. All right, let's find a way to kill him. Ooh. Please work, please work, please work. It probably gets countered. Yep, figured. I am almost dead. Like, why make a Power Stone token there and not minus Karn? I guess they're just trying to ult this, and they're, they probably their 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 hands probably already good. Bloodthirsty. Do I have, even have anything here in here that I can cast? Yes, I do. All right. Well, hopefully I win. Because I can recast back my spells. And I can use this twice. Good game? Resolves? How did we win that game? What decks beat Kamano Rata Squeak Curve out? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Oh my, there's that card. Well, it's a good thing we can immediately deal with it. I don't like the fact that I'm playing off curve to do this, but they have too many protection spells for me to uh, leave that on board. Unless they have a second Storm Chaser. Windblade Geist. Oh, that's a double striker, right? We might be able to beat this double striker with Radis Firebrand unless they pump it up with Homestead Courage. We need to hope they don't have Homestead Courage. Combat research. Oh. Okay, I guess we give them two draws. Gosh, that's good. That's really good. 
Does Jack play lifelink things? Probably. Bloodthirsty Adversary? Okay, that's good against the Twin Blade Geist. They could play Shore Up that, that actually, um... They could play Shore Up. Oh, slip out the back. Am I blocking the Twin Blade Geist with Radis Fire Brand? Probably. I, I just don't want them to draw more cards. Like, seems bad, but I think it might be our play to win. What are they going to do to our Phoenix Jake? Bounce it or something? Timely Interference? Gets minus one, minus O. Oh. If it was kicked, it blocks if able. Draw a card. I don't want them to get two draws. All right, am I using play with fire or am I not? It does give them t a connive, right? And they could have a protection spell, which makes it even more blowout for us. But I think I'm just not going to do that. I'll just wait for a better time. Interesting. I think I'm passing without attacking because Twin Blade Geist gets blocked by Thundering Raiju, and it makes it makes no sense to attack with Phoenix Chick if I'm not attacking with Raiju to pump it anyway. So I'm just gonna go no blocks. What are they waiting for? So they have to draw a good spell right now. Knowing my opponents, they will. <laughs> Honestly, instead of... Yeah, I think I'm going to block Twin Blade Geist instead of Illuminator Virtuoso. Wow! Wow, they're going to draw anyway. That sucks. Alright, don't draw a good spell. Alright, they have to have a spell that matters right now. Oh, crap, they get to connive. Like, Bloodthirsty Adversary against Ledger Shredder is so bad. So bad. I might just have to go for it and hope they don't draw something good off the connive. This card the land that you drew last turn. Let's buff the chick.
Another combat research? Wow. Discard spell pierce. That's their third combat research. Discard land. Discard another land. They wouldn't have done that play if they didn't, if they didn't draw into lands. Maybe they did, maybe they don't have two lands, but they I, oh they discarded Sw March of Swirling Mist against my deck. Oh, they must be like gaming right now. Yeah, opponent definitely wins if they're discarding this. Like, what else is better than this right now? Like, they probably have Shore up to untap Virtuoso and block with it. Well, I'm glad they didn't target their own thing with that. Well, let's just hope they're dead. They have to chump block. Do they have shore up? Do they actually have shore up? Wow! You have to be kidding me! Ah, oh, God. I miss lethal, I guess, for not playing the rabbit. Why not playing the rabbit? Because it would give them a connive, and I didn't want them to draw into shore up. Oh my gosh, they would have drawn another one! Oh my gosh, what a gamer opponent. All right, Thunder Raju, please get us there. We also have Sokinzan. Security bypass. Okay, that's just for a draw. That's just for a redraw. Because they already went to combat. Holding March would have been better? Oh, same, I agree. That's why when they discarded it, I was like, oh, they have to have another one or a shore up. Discard Odawara. Wow, that seems bad. What's the other card in their hand? They're going to have Spell Pierce their own card? <laughs> I called it. I called it. And scoop. Let's freaking go. I think we're playing this anyway. I really like a creature. Perfect. Never didn't have it, right? Let's try to try to get another creature. Perfect. Never did not have it. Cletus. And then when they cast Shieldred, we're going to steal it for game. Confirm no spell pierce. That's not good. Maybe they have cut down or something?
run as Vor oh my goodness they run as vortex star kumano i feel like that's not the thing to run as vortex I put the rabbit battery under the phoenix chick so that if they have a sweeper, they can't sweep both of my creatures. Hopefully they just cast Shieldred. Emperor main phase. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess it's actually kind of fortunate for me, right? Because they don't gain a life off Celeste doing it this way. Oh my goodness. This is not good. I feel like I want to bloody betrayal my own card just just to make the blood. Just to sacrifice the blood to the mountain. Is that good? It also makes it not nighttime, so I don't gain a life. I actually think I like that. I'm not in the business of making them of of getting them to gain life off this thing. I just have to hope they don't cast Shieldred right now. The fairy. They should have. They should have tapped Celestis for that. I feel like they just messed up. Another land, wow. Ooh, Kamano. Gosh, this is hard. They're going to gain two life a turn. So it basically means I have to draw a haste creature or a lightning strike to win. It's probably more beneficial for them to just like plus to fairy and then pass. Right? Liliana. They're gonna plus or minus? Probably minus. Could I have stolen the creature and went for lethal had you kept the betrayal? If I kept the betrayal in my hand, it means I didn't cast the spell, which means it would go to nighttime. Which means Celestus would go to nighttime and get them a draw discard and a life gain. And they not I did not want them to get an extra free loot and a life gain. Uh, I have a lightning strike, so please don't have a counter spell opponent. They don't. Good game. Let's go. I go first. That's not a good hand. That's fine. I think I'll put back a chick. Some mono red. Look at me picking up chicks. Sleeper.
I do not want this many lands. We'll say that can't block. Uh, sure, still can't block. Catnip overdose? Oh. Yes, I know. I couldn't find you that day. Like, you just, you literally just weren't there. Alright, how do I, how do I win here? We grow this. They take one. They go to eight. And then what do they do? We don't have an instant of sorcerer in our graveyard for Bloodthirsty Adversary. They have a Liliana. They make me sacrifice a creature? Sure, I sacrifice the chick. This is if I attack with three creatures, right? Yeah. Uh... So Gunzan makes two creatures, but you have to pay two extra mana. So I think I'm supposed to... This is a this is a pretty bad situation here. Especially cuz they might have cut down in hand. Yeah, Kumano kills Lily, which is why I'm not which is why I'm not attacking Lily. It kills Lily and puts him in range of dying to Bloodthirsty. That's a Shattered Sanctum? They're playing white mana? Okay, so they're almost dead. They go to one, right? So freaking close. What's up, Rachel? Opponents at one. Children? Sure. Bankbuster. Okay, I win. Because I have this plus the Phoenix chick coming back. Scoop it up, baby. Let's go. Wow, this hand's like really good. Um, you know what I could do actually? I could go Ogrehead Helm here and then go, and then go land one drop, one drop, one drop, and then draw three. But this might actually just die, but it means it doesn't die to cut down, so that's good. Oh my gosh, so good. Battery? Chick? Chick? <laughs> Attack for a lot? Draw three? Discard a chick? Oh my god! Whoa! Wow!
Now I can go rabbit battery. Wait, what does this do again? Dragons? I wonder if I'm supposed to just lightning strike this. I want to bring back my chick, but I kind of just want to... Like, if I rabbit battery the etching, I feel like it's the same thing, but I also don't want to ramp them. Whatever. Do this on this. Attack with three things, get the chick back. I feel like that's the most efficient thing to do. And they're dead to my hand. They can meat hook massacre me. I don't want them to because you know that card's banned and all. It's sushi. Okay. Land. Lightning strike. Play with fire. Just because I can. That was insane! Alright, here we go. Let's go. Phoenix Chick. Getting in for damage. Go, Chick, go. Go, Chick, go. Tenacious Underdog. That land was quite needed. We'll go like this, and then we'll plan to Lightning Strike or play with Fire on their end step at some point. Underpants again. Alright, now they're going to attack with one, and we're going to Squee. Which means we're going to play with Fire this Underdog. I didn't have to do it now, I kind of prefer to wait till end step, because they still have a land drop to make. But they missed their land drop. Squee attack for three. And then hopefully we draw an untapped land for Thundering Raiju. They have a cut down for Squee. Okay. We can bring that back at some point. Land? Let's freaking go. Raiju, let's grow the chick. Down to seven. And then they're dead in my hand. Didn't even need the lightning strikes. Turn one Kumano, pack leader turn one, casting naturalist turn two. This might be tough for us to handle here. I want to play a creature this turn, but at the same time I don't. We should probably play Shivan Devastator this turn because it number one, it takes up all of our mana. And it's a creature, so we get the value out of that. Maybe that was a mistake and I should have just played Phoenix Chick or held up Lightning Strike, but I feel like getting the value out of the creature on this is, like, pretty good. Alright, so do we cast Phoenix Chick and then Lightning Strike them later on? No, we just Lightning Strike now, so we can get in for damage.
Hmm. All right, I guess we're going Squee. And we can definitely race them, especially since we can kill almost whatever creature they play here. Like that card? Ooh, that can kill our etching. Ooh, Ogre Head. Rending Flame this. Attack with the team. I guess besides this one one, right? No, we can still attack with one one since the squeeze is making a one 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 anyway. And then we'll play with Ogre Head and hopefully we can draw three. Actually, no. The Liberator can kill our Ogre Head. Not gruel than die says kind of sad opponent isn't going off. <laughs> Not very Chad. Opponent would have gone off if it didn't kill their Kessig Naturalist. Alright, now what does the opponent do? They might actually not have time to go Liberator plus kill something. They could block with Liberator and then kill something else. Which is fair enough, I guess. You don't think it's reasonable to expect ladder opponents to adhere to a gentleman's increment? No, it's not expected. Like you, you would just think like if, like there, there's a big tournament on Saturday. You would think that you would want to like you know play it, and and test for, you know, meat hook not being in standard because it's banned. There, it's always like a weird gray area where a card is announced to be banned. Let's freaking go. A card's announced to be banned, but then it's still, like, kind of legal on Arena. It's just a weird situation. But anyways, let's freaking go. We got the win. She Shield Root's like a, you must remove this card or you lose the game. Scoured Baron, just getting life, playing around our deck. Are we playing Kumano or are we going with... I think we're going Kumano plus Play with Fire because I want to draw into a land. Am I Play with Firing their face now or am I Play with Firing the underdog? Probably the underdog since I... I have two mana cards to play. Firebrand on four power means that it can make cards like Graveyard Trespasser and Tenacious Underdog not block it. Oh, it's Mardu. So they're playing the Angel, probably. Betrayal. Land. Do I want rabbit battery on a creature? Probably. Probably want Radis Firebrand out of the way of Meat Hook Massacre. I should be using creature lands. I should be playing a hostile hostile. Or a Haunted Hostel, whatever it's called. I don't know, because like different plays like that I wouldn't be able to make if I had a Hostel in my hand, right? Instead of a Mountain. I wouldn't be able to go one drop, one drop for red cards. Did they discard two lands? A land and a Bank Buster. Okay.
Giada. Kind of figured this was this had some angels in it. Another firebrand. I'd rather Giada block than this 2-2 block. And then we'll go with Radis Firebrand again. Firebrand with Kumano's second chapter is pretty good. What cards feel strong and weak to, so far in this deck? Squeeze among the most appreciated bombs I play with in Limited. Yeah, I think I might play an extra Squee. Bloody Betrayal seemed like pretty bad. And I might want like an extra Rending Flame and like one more like of, of another card. And maybe I cut bl both Bloody Betrayals for another Rending Flame and another Squee or something, because this seemed, like, pretty bad. It's only good if you're stealing Shieldred for game or something, or if you expect your opponent to be playing a lot of, like, big creatures instead of playing a bunch of tokens. And right now, like, there's a little bit... There's, like, a, there's like a pretty good amount of tokens in the format. And you don't really want to be playing, playing those. Uh, and there's no way to sacrifice the card after you take it, so it's almost like a gotcha card. So, like, it's, it's, it's okay... I don't think it's, like, really good. Like, here it might be good, because we get to go we get to steal Reflection of Kiki Jiki and then use its ability, but we don't have mana to do it. I think I'm gonna... Am I keeping the, the rabbit battery there? Probably. I'm attacking for... I want I want the reflection to jump. Oh, they're just dead. Do I have lethal if I unequip? I have lethal anyway. Alright, Jamers. Thank you for hanging out with me playing Mono Red. Red deck wins. We got some good wins, no pun intended, with this. I did make a change, as you saw here. I added a squee. Um, I took out the steel card that makes a blood token. And I added in one more play with fire, because it seemed like that steel card was a little bit underwhelming. And I ended up uh, playing another squeak because I kind of want to draw this card a little bit more often and then play with fire is just a good card So anyways, I hope you had fun watching this if you did have fun watching this make sure to follow Coolstuffinc.com on YouTube give it a subscribe to like the video to help it reach more people and follow me on my main channel If you're watching this from coolstuffinc.com if you're watching this from coolstuffinc's YouTube channel at the one jame on YouTube um, And subscribe to that channel if you do want to watch more standard best of one content for me anyways Let's go to the next video and I'll see you next time. And as always, peace.